Let us discuss exponential growth and decay. Exponential growth is a mathematical change that increases without limit based on an exponential function, while exponential decay is found in mathematical functions where the rate of change is decreasing and thus must reach a limit which is the horizontal asymptote of an exponential function. Let us now solve problems involving exponential growth. Suppose that a colony of lice grows exponentially. After one day, 50 lice are counted. After three days, 200 lice were counted. How many are there originally? What is the exponential growth equation for the colony? Let's have the solution to the problem. So we're going to use the equation y sub t is equal to y sub o e raised to kt, where y sub t is the population at t days, y sub o is the original population, e is the exponential constant, which is 2.718, k is the rate of growth, and t is the number of days. From this given equation, y sub t is equal to y sub o e raised to kt, we can derive an equation for the number of lice after one day as y sub 1 is equal to 50, means that 50 is equal to y sub o e raised to k times 1, and also an equation for the number of lice after 3 days as y sub 3 is equal to 200, means that 200 is equal to y sub o e raised to k times 3. From the equation 50 is equal to y sub o e raised to k times 1, we can simplify it as 50 is equal to y sub o e raised to k. And from the equation 200 is equal to y sub o e raised to k times 3, we can simplify it as 200 is equal to y sub o e raised to 3k. From the equation 50 is equal to y sub o e raised to k, if we're going to subtract both sides of the equation by e raised to k, we can have y sub o is equal to 50 e raised to negative k. Now, from the equation 200 is equal to y sub o e raised to 3k, we can replace y sub o by 50 e raised to negative k, where we could have 200 is equal to 50 e raised to negative k times e raised to 3k. From this equation, we can add 50 e raised to negative k and e raised to 3k, so that it will become 200 is equal to 50 e raised to 2k. Then divide both sides by 50, it will become 4 is equal to e raised to 2k. We can rewrite 4 is equal to e raised to 2k as 4 is equal to e raised to k times 2. Also, the left member of the equation, which is 4, can be written as 2 square. So we have 2 square is equal to e raised to k times 2. Applying the rule in exponential equation, we can cancel out the exponents 2 from the left and right member of the equation. And so we have 2 is equal to e raised to k, or e raised to k is equal to 2. Using the equation 50, is equal to y sub o e raised to k, we can now solve for the original population denoted by y sub o. Knowing that 2 is equal to e raised to k, we can replace e raised to k by 2. Therefore, we have 50 is equal to y sub o times 2. Then, rewrite this one as 50 is equal to 2 times y sub o. Dividing both sides by 2, we can have 
25 is equal to y sub o or y sub o is equal to 25. Therefore, the original population is equal to 25. Now, using the equation y sub t is equal to y sub o a raised to kt, we can now find the exponential growth equation. Simply replace y sub o by 25 and replace a raised to k by 2. And so we have y sub t is equal to 25 times 2 raised to t. Let us now solve problem involving exponential decay. Let's have this given problem. The rate of decay of radium is said to be proportional to the amount of radium present. If the half-life of radium is 1690 years and there are 200 grams on hand, how much radium will be present in 845 years? Let's have now the solution to the problem. Using the equation y is equal to c t raised to kt, where y is the population at t years, c is the present amount of radium, e is the exponential constant, which is equivalent to 2.718, k is the rate of decay, and t is the number of years okay so the exponential decay equation again starts off as y is equal to c e raised to kt and since there are 200 grams present at the start we can replace c by 200 and therefore we can have the equation y is equal to 200 e raised to kt The half-life of 1690 years means that the initial amount of 200 grams of radium will reduce to half or just 100 grams. And therefore, we have 100 is equal to 200 e raised to k times 1690. Dividing both sides of the equation by 200, we have 1 half is equal to e raised to k times 1690 we can multiply the exponent of both sides of the equation by 1 over 1690 and so we have e raised to k is equal to 1 half raised to 1 over 1690 knowing that c is equal to 200 and e raised to k is equal to 1 half raised to 1 over 1690. We can now have the equation y is equal to 200 times 1 half raised to t over 1690. Replacing t by 845, we have y is equal to 200 times 1 half raised to 845 over 1690 we can reduce the fraction in the exponent to its lowest term so that it will become y is equal to 200 times 1 half raised to 1 half now the rational exponent 1 half raised to 1 half can be transformed into radical form and so we have y is equal to 200 times the square root of 1 half. Dividing 1 by the square root of 2 is equal to 0 0.707 and 200 times 0 0.707 is equal to 141.4. Therefore, after 845 years, there will be approximately 141.4 grams of radium left.